I look at your career a bit any normal Indian will look at this career. They'll see a person who has been very aspirational, very hardworking, the one who wanted to prove himself to the society or to the family. Then was there a particular instant when you realized that okay now I am living uh, like now I am giving up the entire hard work of 25 years which I which you would have definitely put in this. And then what, was there a particular instant or you thought or you were on the you were on the thought line that first I just settle myself and as in a name and then when then choose another path. See, first of all, I was lucky to uh, have been exposed to various kinds of books, hmm? just random literature since a very young age. I had my father's library at home and somehow I loved to read and uh, it was almost like an unattended bush growing up in very random ways, branching out in all haphazard directions. But the branching out was real. So there was a lot that was going on in the consciousness. It was not obviously a one point or one day or a one moment kind of a thing or decision. I'll give you an example from the campus itself. I entered in 2001. I belong to the class of 2003. 2001 was the Bhuj earthquake. So when I came to the campus, the earthquake was on 26th of January. When I came to the campus, so many buildings were still crumbling. You could, uh, you could see the debris, the ruins, the tatters as you move from this place to the railway station. Hmm? And uh, 50 or 100 people had died in Ahmedabad itself. And we all know of the body count in Bhuj. So that was 2001. And that makes you think. Hmm? Then 9-11, that was 2001. Now I am in the campus, right? I am in the dorm. And there are these two planes flying into the Twin Towers. And you are forced to think. If money is everything, if material is everything, if prosperity is everything, if the so-called happiness is everything, why is this happening? When you are a living being and your, your, your sense of inquiry, your inquisitiveness, your analytical skills, your logical skills are not there just to apply on a particular balance sheet or a strategy problem, right? You look at the world in general and you, you apply your analytical skills. So, so I'm looking at those images on my screen and I'm asking, why is this happening to America, right? 2002, end of February, and you have the Gujarat riots, and I'm in the campus, right? And on the day of the campus, 28th of Feb, 2002, I'm going from the campus to the railway station, and I'm witnessing the globally infamous Gujarat riots firsthand. I'm seeing what is going on. And again, these are things that make you really think, unless you are totally preoccupied with, you know, your, your personal stuff like career or relationships or girlfriend or something. My own car was smashed. Not that I uh, had to suffer some uh, personal physical damage or something, but it sets you in motion. You want to ask what is going on. And then there was a course by Professor Manikutti, LVMR. I do not know whether it is still floated. Leadership, Vision, Meaning and Reality. And I always had this inclination towards literature. I took that course. And there was Aravati Karve, Yuganta. There was Don Quixote. Ibsen was there, Doll's House, Wild Duck. 
and uh, Harman Hess, Siddharth. And I was seeing very clearly that this side of life, hmm, which you call as the emotional side, the subjective side, the soft side, is indeed very important even in hardcore managerial decision making. And then that gave me a clue. When I, when I graduated from the campus, I designed a little more hardcore course of my own. And uh, it consisted of more spiritual kind of literature. And I floated that course uh, at IMT Ghaziabad. There it ran for five years. Conducted a few sessions at TIS Mumbai and MDI and a few other places, symbiosis. And I was getting the, the feel of it. And I was getting more deeply into it. So it was an entire process, not a particular moment of departure. I was seeing that it is not merely managers who require these inputs, but the population in general is deeply in need of wisdom inputs. So stuff kept happening and, and uh, uh, my own reading intensified got more purposeful, more directed, and uh, yeah, and then the process is still continuing. It's not as if we have reached some kind of an end product. It's still happening. <laughs>